Husband ate half of the cake I made for my co-worker's farewell party at work. I honestly don't know what to say right now. I had been planning and researching to make a good strawberry meringue cake that I wanted to try out and put so much effort and time into this, only for my husband to fuck it up. Last night, I caught him in the kitchen grabbing what must have been another slice since one four of it was already gone. I slapped his shoulder and yelled at him that it was the cake I made for work. He claimed to not have known that it was specifically the one that I was bringing to work since I had already made a couple over the past week in preparation. The thing is I specifically told him earlier that day, and it was obvious that was the one I intended on bringing because I left it untouched and covered it. I haven't even given my son a piece, which should have gave it away if he had any doubts. He messed up and tried saying it wasn't that serious, because I hadn't known this co-worker for that long when I've known her for almost six months now and she's always had my back. He said my cake didn't fit for the occasion and it was more of a springtime dessert, dot. I was and still am so angry and his excuse was he had taken a hit from his friend's weed pen earlier and had extreme munchies, and shouldn't have eaten that much. He said he was going to the gym to work it off. I said, yeah, that's great, but what exactly is that doing for me? His solution was to run to the store and buy something from the bakery section. Sigh. I'd be furious. He didn't even apologize. What an ass. Wow is your husband this selfish and disrespectful about everything? Who does that though? Just cuts into a pristine cake they didn't make or purchase, without so much as an is this cake up for grabs. Trying to argue that it's fine for him to demolish your work because it didn't fit the occasion is. Cruel. It really is, and I can't think of a better word for it. I am so sorry OP, that sounds heartbreaking, defeating, and infuriating all at once. The fact he didn't even apologize. I'm so sorry OP, I would be frustrated too. You deserve an apology, and he should have purchased more ingredients for you and offered to help you make another one, not take the easy way out and spend his free time at the gym. He made a mistake, and he needs to properly apologize and pay for it. Every time I think I want to start dating again I just come onto this sub and completely cure myself of such malaise. I'd completely ignore his birthday and when he asks, simply say you had cake back in September. Wow well, who takes a slice of uncut cake without asking the baker? I have never come across a situation when this would be okay. That didn't happen. And if it did, it wasn't that bad. And if it was, that's not a big deal. And if it is, that's not my fault. And if it was, I didn't mean it. And if I did, you deserved it. If this is a pattern of behavior, you've married a narcissist. Now it's your husband's farewell cake. Oh girl I also just saw your post about your husband commenting on your body. Does that man have any redeeming qualities? My kid knows better than to cut the first slice of a cake without asking. And he's a kid, not a grown man. If there's something unusual or special looking in the fridge or pantry, always ask. He knew what he was doing and didn't care. He didn't value the time and effort you went into making the cake. Simple as that. That would be it for me. The irresponsibility in every decision, action, then consequence that led to the travesty of your effort being utterly ruined, is just. I've no words. No apology, check. Diminishing feelings, check. Putting the blame on you, check. Nice, got the trifecta. I'm livid for you. Baking is hard, it's a lot of work to make something technically temporary as it's meant to be eaten and you put so much extra effort in. The thought was so lovely, OP. Ah yes. That didn't happen. It wasn't the special cake but one of your trial ones, right? And if it did, it wasn't that bad. You don't know the co-worker that long. And if it was, that's not a big deal. It didn't fit the occasion anyway. And if it is, that's not my fault. How was I supposed to know this was the special cake? And if it was, I didn't mean it. Besides, I had the munchies. Can't blame me, blame the blow. 
and if I did, you deserved it. Anyway. I'm full, now I have to work out. All those calories are your fault for having cake around the house anyway. He can fuck right off with that attitude. What an asshole. You have every right to be furious with him. I am so mad and it wasn't even my cake, my friend or my husband. It's really not that hard. If you didn't make the food, you don't take the first slice without talking to the person who made it. If you screw up, apologize. I don't know that I'd kick him out, but there would certainly be a long conversation, including about him running away and him blaming his weed use for screwing you over. LMAO his friend's weed pen, come on it's his. This is the third post recently about a man taking specific food, not for them, without asking face with rolling eyes what is wrong with their brain's ISTG. He doesn't care about boundaries and is jealous of you doing something nice for someone else. What an ass. I've seen variations of this scenario play out so many times among my friends. The latest was a situation where she'd been slaving over a dish to take to a barbecue all day and he was going to take some meat. His one job was to carry all the food into the car to take to the party and he only took the meat it was too far to go back for the other dish. His response was, you didn't say you didn't tell me it was clear she'd been talking about it all day he'd just tuned her out. I felt very grateful not to be in a disappointing relationship like that anymore. So first he tells you he didn't know it was that one, even though you did. You even made sure your child didn't have any. Then he tries to say it isn't that serious, when it is serious to you, which you have already communicated because your co-worker had your back. Then he goes and says it doesn't fit for the occasion when you made several already and he didn't have that opinion at the time. Finally he blames it on drugs. Why are you wasting your time with someone who literally shits on you, on everything you do, and say? In my defense, I was on drugs. Holy shit, this guy is incredible. If you let him live, you're probably being a bit too lenient. Can I just point out that your husband's reaction was well isn't strawberry more of a springtime dessert? Bro what? First he stole from you, then he used every excuse in the world instead of taking responsibility for his actions. These are not the actions of a decent person. I've seen shitty men do a lot of shitty things, but the stories of these entitled pricks devouring food that wasn't meant for them, especially when their wives worked so hard on it, really boils my blood. Like how hard is it to not be a selfish pig? Disgusting. What a selfish moron. He should stop all substances if he can't control himself over a cake. Like what a child. And trying to justify it by saying it's wrong for the occasion? The audacity clearly doesn't respect you. I'd be livid. So. According to him, it was your fault he ate the cake. Is this recurring behavior from him? Doing something, minimizing, and not apologizing? OOF. That's a controlling, narcissist, asshole of a husband you've got yourself there. He knew exactly what he was doing, as evidenced by his arguments about the type of cake, how long you've known the recipient, etc. He thinks he knows what is best, better than you do. Is this what you want for the rest of your life? Deepest sympathies. You know, every time I think about getting back into a relationship or married, I run across these scenarios and I just can't. This is the thoughtlessness that pisses me off. Where do you guys find all these mid-men? Loudly crying face how can you see a covered up cake or ANY food and not ASK first if you can take some? And then the audacity to insult it? Man, I'm sorry op. I'd be furious. Sounds like you get to decide what happens to his next project or whatever he spends his time on. Seriously, what a jackass. You know what else is a springtime dessert? Humble pie. As in, you should serve a big whopping plate of it to this guy. I know I can't get married until I get therapy BC my mind went straight to divorce. He's not gonna get it because he doesn't want to get it. Self-reflection means work to improve on any failings you discover and homeboy is not for the effort that entails. You have two sons sis and only one is well-mannered. 